<laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, this is Matt and I got Peg down here. Here she is. And we have come to talk to you about the burning bush. Now here she is and uh, we're here checking out this burning bush right here. Uh, so you can see the, the flashing red that's about it. Uh, and, uh, and we set this up tonight because we wanted to talk to you about something. And I have here our crow's nest. And this is our mask for our sale uh, for our videos this season. Uh, you're going to see, be seeing a lot of it. Uh, this story I'm telling you happened on Mount Horeb, uh, in the third chapter of Exodus. Moses had climbed Mount Horeb uh, to find this burning bush. You know, that it burned with fire, but it was never consumed. Uh, and he said, I'm going to turn and see this great sight. And you know, and, and he just kind of looked. Uh, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And so why is that not being burned? <sighs> and he heard this voice come from the bush and called his name Moses. Moses. Uh, and he said, who are you? And the first thing he said, remove your sandals from your feet from the place you stand upon it. Holy ground. And if you want to know, I'm wearing socks, but I have not my shoes on because in the times when I do my videos, this this green screen area, it becomes fully ground for me. <clears throat> and why, why the mast here uh, tonight? Well, because one of the things that uh, that God told Moses to do in this story was to pick up a rod that was on the ground. It was a shepherd's rod, I believe. And he, he picked it up. And he said, what is that? Uh, and uh, God had anointed him to carry that rod as he went to do God's will, which was to deliver God's people out of bondage to Egypt. <clears throat> Listen, I want to tell you something. I'm going to set this down right here, right next to our burning bush. And I want you to get a good inkling of that. I want to tell you something. Um, as we start out this video season, the first thing that you have to know, and the first thing that we have to know, is we have to do God's will. And I don't know what God's will is for your life, but I know one thing. You know, many of you, what you're needing is to have a burning bush experience. Uh, some of us, you know, some people call that uh, uh, a, a Christophany, uh, some, you know, counter encounter with Christ or an encounter with God. Okay, but to have a real one, one that shakes your life to the core. And I, that's what I call the burning bush experience. You know, we all have these experiences. If we truly want God and, and, and we sit down and we say, okay, God, I need a burning bush experience. Well, he'll give you one. And he'll transform your life. Now, this isn't about doing your will. This is about discovering his will for your life. Because Moses was like, ah, I'm not the man. And God said, yes, you are. And you know what? And this is what God has told me to speak to you tonight uh, in these videos. For this month, God is calling you out. And he's calling me out. And he's saying, this is what I want you to do. You, you know what it is that God wants you to do. And, and you know, don't be like Jonah and run. Because Jonah ran and he ended up in the, in the belly of a fish. You have to do God's will. You know? And, and you, if you want to discover God's will... It's time for you to have a burning bush experience. It's time for you to, to lay down, yo, know, Mr. Joe Cool or Miss Lady Cool, uh, and it's time for you to pick up God in your life. In other words, stand before a burning bush. Have your own personal burning bush experience uh, with God. You want to connect with God? I'm going to tell you how I connected with God one time. Someone challenged me to do a 10-day fast. I said, you want to hear God? He said. He said, fast for 10 days, and, and you'll hear God. And by God, it didn't take 10 days, and uh, God was all over me. And, and it wasn't, it was a frightening, sure, but you know what? I could feel the presence of him, and I knew what he wanted me to do at that time. Uh, you really want to try fasting for 10 days. Nothing but water, 10 days. You know, you know saying, okay, God, I want to hear from you. You'll find out how fast God's speaking to you, and you'll begin to hear a burning bush experience is for you to wake up and see that God is there and that he's wanting to talk to you and he's wanting to talk to me. You know, do God's will. Find out what God's will is for your life. 
now is the time to step out by faith and do God's will. Have a plan and a purpose. Our, our motto for this season is to have hope and a plan and set sail at dawn. Do you know what that means? That means have hope that God has uh, in what God's will is for your life. To make a plan for what God's will is for your life. And get up in the morning and do it. To set sail. To start your adventure. And do what God wants you to do. This is Matt and Peg coming to you from my studios in Leavenworth, Kansas saying, please remember to be safe, be smart, have a purpose. Let God be a part of that purpose for your life and have a hope and a plan and set sail at dawn for your adventure in God.